everyone, this is Tom from Factory Underground Tech. In today's video, I'm going to cover drum replacement. Let's get started. So here you're going to see that I have a previously recorded drum session. Let's take a listen to it. Now the drums overall sound good, but the snare is wimpy, 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 and we want hefty, hefty, hefty. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select our snare top. And the reason we want to do that is because the transient that you see is really strong and it's going to have an easier time replacing it. So once we have this selected, we're going to go to track at the top, replace or double drum track. Then a prompt box will open as well as a MIDI window will be created underneath it. Now currently under the instrument we have it as selected as snare, which is what we want. But as well you can change it from kick, tom, or other, which could be cymbals or percussion of any type that you want or desire. For now we're going to keep it on snare. We're also going to keep it on doubling and not just replacement. You can choose replacement, but in our case I like doubling because I can choose to whether use it as an extra snare or I can just use it as its own snare later on anyway. So I usually like doubling. Then under that, you have your relative threshold. If you pull this to the left, you're going to get more notes appear. And that's good if like your drummer is playing with a lot of ghost notes, or if they just have a bunch of extra hits in there that you didn't pick up originally. And if you pull it to the right, you're going to see that we get less notes. And this is just a matter of if you're getting extra bleed from whether it be your hi-hat or your drums, you can decide what is the snare and not the snare. Now we're going to put this back to around where it was, somewhere like there. And we're going to hit OK. Once it's been created, it's going to be lined up exactly where it was triggered previously on the snare. By double-clicking on this MIDI region, we can see that we have our hits right here. Now you can see that the hits are a bit soft, and this is rock, so we really want it to hit really hard, so what we're going to do is select one of the snare hits. We're going to then hit Command A to select all of them. Then in this same piano roll window, we're going to select this Show Hide Automation button. Then you'll see all these appear, and these are the velocity hits of your MIDI notes. We're going to click one of them and pull it all the way up. Now that it's at max velocity, we're going to pull it down just a little bit to make it a little more real, something like so. Now I'm going to mute the old snare, and we can take a listen to what the new snare that the sampler comes in sounding like. Now, I'm not a big fan of that, so what we could do is change it. All you have to do is go to your insert where you normally insert a plugin, go to Drum Kit Designer. And here you can change out your snare drums. Those are the three that come stock in Logic, but you can also change it out for anything else as well in your presets. I'm going to choose Heavy. We'll stick with the first one for now. Let's listen again. Let's compare that to what we had originally. So clearly quite a difference from our snare. And we could go through and do this to every drum if we wanted to, from our kick drum to our toms, so on and so forth. But for now, this is at a pretty good starting point. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Factory Underground Tech Quick Tip Video. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and feel free to comment to let us know what you might like us to cover in the future. For more info about us and our program, please visit us at factoryundergroundtech.com.